About a year ago, Hessel Church closed its doors for the first time in its 110-year history due to the coronavirus pandemic. Originally, we were told it would only be for a couple of weeks, and if everyone just washed their hands and stayed at home, the virus would all go away. Well, it's safe to say a lot has happened since then. We were so excited to launch our online services, and we were amazed to see God bring so many new people into our church family. But something was missing. We learned that while the virus continued to be a threat to our physical health, we found our spiritual, mental, and emotional health suffering. One of the things that God has impressed upon me more than ever before is that fellowship is absolutely essential to spiritual vitality. As soon as the guidelines came out that allowed us to have outdoor services, our staff and volunteers began working on ways to worship and fellowship on campus while at the same time valuing and ministering to our online community. That's where many of you come in. For those of you who have been watching online week after week, we want to say thank you for making Hessel Church your church home. You've been faithfully praying and giving, and we've heard from so many of you telling us just how much our online ministry has meant to you. But this morning, I want to ask something of you. Please mark your calendars for Palm Sunday, March 28th, and prayerfully consider attending one of our in-person, on-campus services. For those of you who may still be a little concerned or nervous about coming back, allow me to say a few things. First, in this last year, we have learned a lot about how this virus works. I'm in constant communication with our county leaders and other pastors about current guidelines and how best to implement them in worship settings. We've been doing outdoor services for about eight months now, and praise the Lord, there has not been a single case of the virus being transmitted here or in any other church in the county. There is hand sanitizer for everyone who enters our tent. Plus, during our fellowship time, we are practicing social distancing and all wearing masks. The second thing I wanna say is that it's one thing for me to tell you that we're following the guidelines, but it's another for you to see it with your own eyes. That's why I want to invite you to come to a service and see for yourself. You can walk around with your mask on, stay six feet apart, or stay 12 feet apart if that makes you more comfortable. But I want to encourage you to come. The third and last thing is that we have an opportunity this year. Many of you will remember that we were not able to meet for Palm Sunday, Good Friday, or Easter last year. This year we can. And it's not just an opportunity for you and your family to worship and fellowship, but it's an opportunity for you to invite those people in your life that only go to church for Christmas and Easter. Let's face it, your friends and family will be more comfortable attending to service if you've seen it with your own eyes. And I can promise you, you'll be glad you came. But don't take my word for it. I want you to hear from others in our church family who've already come back to our in-person on-campus services. I've been coming to this church for several years now, and I was raised in church, and to have to be um, uh, homebound, basically, has, um, has been unreal. We feel like they've been doing a really great job mm -hmm. in keeping everybody safe, keeping the guidelines in place, and still allowing people to be in person. It's been very nice to yeah feel like we, we can, can be around other people yeah. in even a, a crowd and still feel like it's being handled well. Following the guidelines, I think Hessel uh, and the staff has done a terrific job. Uh, the distancing, the uh, heaters inside the tent areas, they have it well protected, well spaced, crews cleaning the chairs, everything is really, uh, I feel very, very comfortable. Uh, coming to the services. As a healthcare provider, I've definitely felt safe coming to church and bringing my family here. We, we do practice social distancing, we wear masks, there's hand sanitizers. Um, I know I make my family make sure that they are washing their hands and doing everything we can. My family has just found it so beneficial to be in community with our friends and fellow believers here. It's, it's, it's just, it's what we need. You know, last year was not the same celebrated at home. It lacked uh, the intimacy of being, you know, in, in, a, in a environment with other members of the church. 
It's very it's, important to be in it, person. It's important to be in person. You know, there's a certain intimacy that you don't get sitting at home uh, in your sweats looking at the computer. Yes, we feel very safe. Uh, I mean, we come in with masks, we socially distant, uh, but we can also come together and still chat and fellowship um, and, and com have conversations with people that we really love. And it's actually wonderful. I think it's the highlight of the week. You've really been encouraging fan friends of our uh, family to come to, to Hessel, um, and we completely feel safe bringing them, the, bringing them here. It's really different when I come back. I get chills even right now thinking about I'm back in church. I'm, I'm home. One more thing I want to add about Palm Sunday. In between the services at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. at 10.30, we are finally going to open these doors and bring in people for a special time of baptism. You are not gonna to wanna to miss it. So if you're coming at 9 a.m., plan to stay after for the baptism. And if you come at 11, come early for the baptism. So remember, the plan is this. Number one, attend one of our Palm Sunday services on March 28th at either 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. So you can experience an on-campus service for yourself. Then number two, Invite your friends and family to our Good Friday service on Friday, April 2nd, and to one of our three services on Easter, April 4th. You have been and continue to be a significant part of what God has called Hessel Church to do in Sonoma County. I love you, and I can't wait to see you real soon.